Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll be making a hybrid unstructured and structured mesh with Gmesh. Um, so first, let's start with the inputs. Here we define the box, si box dim and the grid size, which is relevant for the unstructured mesh. Uh, we create our first point and um, we put the unstructured mesh size in, in the fourth uh, entry here. Um, for, uh, for structured cells, you have to speci uh, specifically define the cell distribution on the lines uh, rather than the points. So we'll just create our first box here. And then we'll create the, the other points for the other box. So see, we have six points. We're going to make two boxes from this and then one and uh, mesh one side structured and the other side unstructured. So here we'll make the lines for the first box. Okay, and now for the other box. We don't remake the partitioning line since it's already there. And now we'll create line loops for the two uh, different uh, partitions so we can make surfaces from them. Notice that the line loops take the IDs of the lines here, 7 through 10 right here. And then for the second part, we do 11 through 13. And then 8 was already created, but we have to travel in the opposite direction to make a one contiguous loop. So we put a negative sign to signify that. So no errors, it's good. Now we uh, make the surfaces. So at this point, um, the uh, an unstructured mesh can be made. Gmesh by default generates unstructured meshes. So once you create a surface, it will generate an unstructured mesh on that surface. I mean, or it is able to. So let's view that. You can see it, it's a triangular unstructured mesh. So let's make one part un, uh, structured uh, by using s the same procedure as in the previous video. Define transfinite line and our dimension. Uh, make it a transfinite surface and recombine that surface to make quadrilaterals. So there you see it, uh, an unstructured region right next to I mean, a structured region right next to an unstructured region. Um, this can be useful, I mean, quite obviously for something like an airfoil mesh where you have a structured region for an accurate boundary layer resolution near the airfoil surface. And then for the rest of the domain, you have a, um, an e efficiently uh, distributed unstructured mesh extending out to the rest of the domain. So let's continue on and make this and, and investigate another alteration you can make on an unstructured mesh region, which is to recombine the cells so you get uh, many quadrilateral cells uh, as, as well as uh, so a few triangular cells. So you see here it's, it, it can kind of look structured, but it's obviously very unstructured, but we use a lot of quadrilateral cells. This overall uh, reduces the number of cells total. Um, as far as accuracy and speed, I'm not sure if it has much of an effect if you actually run a mesh um, with recombined cells um, in open foam. Um, but I, for some reason, uh, it's my own preference uh, just because it might be faster since there's a smaller number of cells and it doesn't seem to hurt the accuracy. So, uh, yeah, but another thing is uh, you should make sure with any unstructured algorithm that um, good quality cells are created. So here we have some warnings on the algorithm, the default algorithm for the uh, creation of, for the recombining process. Um, usually Unless you have really bad quality, you can kind of ignore the warnings. But 
So, and that's it for now. Uh, the, uh, all the code for this tutorial can be found on the GitHub. The link is in the description. Um, and thanks for watching. Happy foaming.